Hey everyone, Mossy Ranch Backyard Farm here. It's been a long time, probably since last summer, since we've done an update. Everything's, it is now April, end of April, and everything is just in full bloom and beautiful. Some projects that we have going on this year is to finish up our uh, veggie patch. It's all fenced in here to keep the chickens away. Just gonna finish graveling this part up and it'll be complete. It's a very simple way to do a little vegetable patch. Doesn't take much room and still have a lot of garden left over for ornamentals, for your kids to play in. Doesn't take much space at all. This is, we used all wood that was left over from when we built our deck. Um, right now some crops that we have going on. Beets, lettuce, arugula. We have uh, radishes, onions, leeks, artichokes as well as spinach, bok choy. Uh, still too early to plant tomatoes, zucchinis, and all those summer crops. So um, I'm filling in the bed so it looks still pretty with uh, bok choy and spinach. And uh, one note I wanted to make is to reuse your plants. Let them go to seed. Here I had dill last year. Let it go to seed. Uh, provided a home for all the ladybugs to hatch their eggs and then uh, it receded everywhere so we have spin we have dill growing through all our spinach here smells amazing um, we have some parsley go in I don't use much as far as fertilizer except our compost but uh, spinach, some heavy feeders, I do give them a little boost. So I just uh, dilute this uh, Dr. Earth liquid solution with multi-minerals -mineral fertilizer with some water and uh, spray it on the foliage maybe once or twice every few weeks. This spinach is almost ready to go. Bok choy is growing good. Need to thin it out. So these are just uh, boxes. I mean wood that was left over and all our compost in here. Everything's growing great. We we are on a fourth of an acre here and we grow 60 different varieties of fruit and as many vegetables of, as we can fit. Um, plenty to feed our family of five and um, some neighbors and family members as well so you don't have to have an ugly yard to grow food uh, I grow ornamentals here I have some maples as well as some plum trees growing through I have some rhubarb tons and tons of currants love currants um, I use them to make jams, use them for cooking, and the birds just love them. And they're a very attractive plant, great foliage, nice red stems, and they make a very nice backdrop here. It gives us some privacy here in our sitting area. Um, just kind of work, look at the plant not as an edible look at it as it's for its ornamental beauty and just mix it in with some uh, ornamental plants that you have so you can enjoy your yard and eat it as well next I'm gonna take you guys to the heart to the heart of our uh, farm the compost makers